you know, we we have to ask because we you kind of you kind of touched on it really f- quickly. But what do you feel? Everybody we talk to has a different opinion, obviously. But what do you feel is the most difficult position in volleyball to play? Middle blocker. Mm. Middle blocker. Okay. Is that uh-huh. is that like just physically or is mentally as well? I think there's so much that goes into being a middle blocker. That's um, true. Like part of so understanding systems and like understanding our system versus another team like they have to understand where they need to be at all times and all, like they're moving constantly like following the setter like the left attacker hits on the left pin right attacker hits on the right pin middle blockers are flying all over the place they have to block everything that the other team is doing and this like it's a split side uh, split set split second transition to now being offensive and then immediately back to defensive they're getting crushed and then they go sit out for three rotations and then have to come back in and have to go sit out and then come back in it's, it's, yes so, so you, go ahead so you say that like sitting out three rotations is act i can actually see that that sitting out the rotations makes it more difficult because some people will be like oh they're only in half the game so there's no way that it can be the most difficult yeah, position, but I, you're you're saying that the three rotations being out is, makes it difficult. In my experience, talking to middle blockers, yes. Um, okay. Talking to some of the best middle blockers in the world, yes. Because I mean, shoot, they can miss a serve, and then they have to sit out for three rotations, thinking about that they just <laughs> made an error. And oh, it could snap. be it could be as simple as you know six serves, and they're back in the game. Or it could be they could be out for half, I don't know, 20 minutes, depending on if somebody <laughs> goes on a run or whatever. We get stuck in a rotation. They get stuck in a rotation. Staying warm, and then they hit the court, and it's go time, man. They are. Yeah, it is pretty water. gnarly. To, that is very true. It is very gnarly to just like this hot and cold, hot and cold. And like, yeah. and they got to be so quick and dynamic when they are in that sure. even physically, it's probably crazy demanding. I'm not sure how they don't get more injured because they're also like so big. So it's not like these little like guys that are like, they're like big dudes. Like if you're getting cold on the side and you're seven feet, like it's going to take a while to warm back up and do these things that you're supposed to be doing when you're back on the court. For sure. For sure. Is there a position that you could say is like the easiest or that you would think might could be the easiest? Yeah, I can hurt a lot of feelings right now. Um, <laughs> uh, definitely, I think opposites are the easiest. Um, but they also are, there's a lot that they're like demanded of. So like an opposite is a cleanup guy in a lot of ways. And they serve, they have to serve hard. They have to kill, terminate balls and high ball situations. and. They have to block balls. They have to, you know, the easiest thing that an opposite has to do is get one dig per set, you know, because <laughs> nobody's expecting it out of you. Uh, but um, yeah, I would say opposite is the easiest. And that, that's not why I, I, I didn't.